While some seasoned GOP lawmakers and officials seem to be cowering in fear these days, young conservative women are standing up to the liberal mob. An independent journalist, Savannah Hernandez, was physically assaulted by radicals for having the audacity to say this at a BLM protest. This is extremely distressing to me. Whoa, whoa. Okay, this is just ridiculous. These are two brave women. Samantha Pefferly, Savannah Hernandez, join me now. Um, Savannah, I want to talk to you. You go to this BLM protest, and you hold up a sign that says, All Lives Matter, Police Lives Matter, I guess. And that was wild. Tell us about it. Yeah, Laura, you know, I was watching so many videos on Twitter of police officers, especially black police officers, who've been the subject of so much racism because of the radical left and everything that's been going on. And it really enraged me. So I wanted to go stand up with a Police Lives Matter sign. And on the other side, it had the name of David Dorn, who was a black police officer who was shot and killed by rioters. And I went and I stood there. I didn't chant. I didn't go infiltrate their rally at all. I stood on a busy street corner and I held up my sign because I wanted police in my city to know that they were supported. And I was immediately attacked. And luckily, one of the BLM supporters actually at that rally supported my First Amendment right, which is not something we typically see. So I was very appreciative of that. But, you know, it's ridiculous that I can't go stand up with a sign on my own streets in my own city without being attacked, viciously attacked several times. And, and have you gotten uh, slammed for being a Latina that's standing up for police as well? Because I know African-Americans, as you say, have been subject to, to that horrible language called an Uncle Tom and so forth. How about you? Definitely, Laura. And you know, a lot of conservatives say that the most racist people are from the left. And that is so true. I've been called the most racist names. I've gotten death threats from people on the left because they don't like my message. And it only emboldens me more to stand up for our police who protect our communities every single day. And the big disconnect is that a lot of people on the street who are calling to defund and abolish the police have never actually spoken to a police officer mm. directly. I've done both of those things. I've talked to BLM protesters and I've gone and I've talked to police officers. And I can't tell you how many police officers' wives and children have um, since mm -hmm. messaged me scared for their lives, scared for their husbands' lives, their wives' lives, their brothers and sisters because of everything that's going on. Now, and by the way, nice push off of the uh, the masked intruder there. That was a nice shove. It'd be, that's pretty good. All right. uh, Savannah, finally with you, what's your message to young women tonight? You got 15 seconds who are conservative, who are tired of being pushed around literally or figuratively at this time. What do you say? Laura, I would just say that I'm not a spectacular human being. I'm a regular girl. I watched your show so many times, I never thought I'd actually be on it. And if I can stand up and make big waves with a $5 poster board and a message, then anybody can. So stand up. They can Now's as the well. time to do it. All right, ladies, yeah. thank you so much.